The dough is so thick. Why? I mean, it's just like a loaf of bread. It's like a baguette in there. Mm -hmm. That's our thin crust. That's the thin crust? Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Yeah, a lot of people get upset with me for that when they ask for the thin crust, and I bring them the thin crust. Wow. Did you touch that? The dough's raw. Oh, wow, it is. Raw pastry. My god, what a mess. Darling, I'm done. Alrighty. Uh, dreadful. OK, I'll let him know. Messy. That is definitely not the best pizza in Denver. Let's get that right. Hey, Pete, he wanted me to show you the uh, dough. What's wrong with that pizza? He said the pizza see. was doughy on the inside and greasy. It is doughy, look. Really? I agree with him, too. Are you kidding me? I don't know what the chef is talking about, and a lot of people love it. I do. I eat it. Why don't you guys throw this away? Leave it. I'm going to eat it. Are you kidding me? What? That's disgusting. I'm hungry. I think Chef Ramsey's problem is that he hasn't tasted a classic pizza before. Damn, it's good. He's tasted all this fancy stuff, you know. OK, here we oh, go. The Jesus. meatball hero. The meatball hero. Wow. And how do you, uh, how would you? Uh, <laughs> um, oh. I guess you approach that however you feel. Wow. Thank you, my darling. No problem. Just visually, there's nothing hero looking about that. God. Mm. That's not anywhere near a hero sandwich. That looks more like a sloppy joe. It's bad. It's all soggy there. It's like eating a patch of soaking wet grass after a cow shat all over it. You're all done with that. That is You're definitely done. not a hero. Yeah, oh, disgusting. Okay. There's a typo error on the menu. It's not hero, it's zero. I'll let him know. Please. Do you want to hear Chef's response? Yes. Yes, he said yeah. it's a zero, not a hero. I don't believe this. I have plenty of people that they love my meatball. I am very proud of my meatballs. And for Chef Ramsey to say it was a zero, it's very insulting. Josh, what are you doing, Josh? Let the, let the garlic roast. Roast you? Really? I'm going to whack you over the head with this damn thing. Let it get really hot before you put them in. Is this the first time I've done this? I don't agree at all with serving anything out of a can. It's embarrassing. I tell you, taste such shit. Here. OK, here's the linguine. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. No problem. Damn. I mean, that is absolutely dreadful. The seasoning, bland, like a plate of hospital food. I mean, it's just so unappetizing. Look at that. Excess water. I mean, that is disgusting. Man. How's it going? It looks like Pete's pissed in my pasta. That's bad. That. My God, that stinks. That's gone off. My God, that's disgusting. Oh, that is off as well. It's salmon. And look, some dirty fuck has picked all the bones out and just left them on the side. What a way to run a fridge. That stinks. So the hoarding isn't just washing machines and microwaves, it's old food. Oh, shit. Look at the state of this. Dirty, dirty fuckers. Oh, wonderful. We survived it? No. Nope. What in the fuck is this? Mud pie on top of scallops. Man, this fridge is littered with shit. This is a horror show. Randy. Can you just get me Lexi, please, for two minutes? She's extremely busy yeah, right now, well, but I'm, I'm extremely busy. I understand. Yeah. I'll get her. Uh, Wiley, can you stay with me two seconds? Yes. Lex, Chef what? has to have you for a minute right now. OK. When was the last time this walk-in fridge was cleaned? Uh, Monday. Monday. Can you just step over here two yeah. seconds? This is the dessert start preparation. It's got blood. It's disgusting. 
And these? Lamb chops. And what's this satin? What is that? Come on, water. Yeah, water. Dirty water, yeah. Dirty water, Absolutely. you're right. And this here? What is that? Fudge from the mud pie. Fudge from the mud pie. Yeah. That's sat on top of a leg of lamb that's dripping with blood. You with me? The place is littered with shit everywhere you turn. And for me, it was bad enough to see the crap in the dining room. I didn't expect that walk-in to be festering the way it is. Go and have a look in there now. Both you walk in there. Mold, crap. That was cleaned last week. It was not cleaned last week. And this here, can you see that up there? I can see that. Let's get out of it. Seriously, just smell that. Look at the color of it and the congealed blood. And this, that's blood from the lamp. I've never, ever seen a practice this bad. And then some dirty fucker takes bones from the salmon and dumps them on the side. I did it. You did this. I was pulling them out. Yep, I did. And you put them back on there. I and you sat on there, that. and I didn't put them away. Just touch the temperature of that. Just touch that. The big shock for me, hold the bone, is sat with this. You have raw chicken and cooked fucking meat. There's a theme here. This place is littered with junk. The chairs are caked in shit. And the refrigeration walk-in is in disarray. I stepped one foot into your kitchen, and there was a fucking hole in the wall where the meat thermometer gets taken out and stuck inside. There's a freezer there that's not even up to the temp of a fridge, let alone a freezer. And you've got cooked meat, raw meat, and fucking desserts glazed in half-cooked a leg of lamb blood. This is criminal. You have cross-contaminated every ounce of ingredients in this kitchen. And you, 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 you see that? Who is hoarding all this shit? We serve that shit. You use that shit. Why don't you get in there and stop any other fucking entree leaving and shut it fucking down? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, shit. You... <coughs> shit. <coughs> you take some water, darling. You OK, Irene? I'm OK. I'm OK. Emmanuel, <coughs> the Locanico was too greasy. Doesn't have any wine sauce on the bottom. It was just plain greasy, so he can't eat it. I don't think it's greasy. It's one of the best mechanicals that uh, we have in this neighborhood. I don't know why he doesn't like it. You put a 30 seconds? Bro, let's make it good this time. Irini, can we get this stuff uh, to chef? OK, this is the pasticcio. Thank you, Dai. Wow, this is dreadful. It's like a bland pile of worms. It's bland. I mean, that is depressing. When something starts steaming that hot like that in the center, it confirms it's been microwaved. And as for that concoction, oh my god. Looks like the intestines of a cow. That is a mess. Popular? Yeah. That means no. Wow. Are we done? I'm so sorry, yes. Do we have anything else coming? No, do you want to look for something else? The bathroom, that's what I'd like to look for. Sorry. Oh, my God. A bit of top water for me. Mano? Yes? All the girls are going to be able to do it. Come on, see what's, what's wrong with it. Who's oh, shouting you on there? Get out, Michelle. OK. Please. Irene. Irene? She asked me about the table, and I say, I don't know. Ask you want me to be Irene? Get yeah. out. I'm extremely upset with Manny because he should check every dish before it goes out, and especially today that we have Chef Ramsey here. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I lost the words. Everything was greasy. I can't see any freshness here. Did you actually cook my lunch? Did you do anything? I did your gyro, I did... The frozen gyro. That gyro is...
processed. It tasted just bland, just, just, just horrible. Greek sausage, no white wine, no red wine, no shallot, no gut, nothing, just a greasy mess. You nearly choked on it, Irene. It was that greasy. It was put in the fryer? Yes. Whose idea was that? This is an old recipe. It's been like this for years. I have a very good Lucanico. The best. If you can't be fucking honest with yourself, then I'm not here to bullshit you. You ask me. If you ask somebody else, they might give you a different rate. If I mean... Well, you're the fucking owner. Christina, is this the way it's always been? No. When we started, we didn't uh, cook it, you know, this way. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's, it is what ago. it is now, and it's no, I want to hear this. It started a year ago. Yeah. I don't know why they changed the recipe. That That's actually... how we always do it. No. I'm deeply concerned of the lack of respect and love in your marriage. But one thing you've confirmed across this lunch is that there's no love in your food. I'm embarrassed. Fucking hell. I'm pissed off, angry. The food is not the problem. Oh, I'm not done a soup. That's drier than the sands around in the pyramids of Egypt. That's dreadful. And the chicken is blunt. Is the chicken fresh or is that frozen? The chicken is frozen. What a shame. Yeah. Who cooked my lunch today? That would be a mixture of Faye and Brad. And I'm pretty, I think they've um, tag teamed on, on the dishes. I suppose when you tag team, you'd expect it to be twice as good, but this one's twice as bad. Uh, darling, I'm done. Well, I'm yes. disappointed. Thank you, darling. Wow. Trust me, this has been a huge, huge disappointment. There's not been one thing that you said you liked. Not even one item, huh? Let's, uh, let's come over, please. Wow. I don't know where to start, really. Um, Faye, Brenda, I'm so disappointed. The atmosphere is flat, the decor's drab, and I'm sat on the corner of a ridiculous cushion opposite a large container of dirty shit. They've never done that before. That's what's bothering me today. Um, excuse me? Um, we do that every week. I believe you and Vanessa use buckets, don't you? But don't put the buckets on the floor. Well, it doesn't matter if it's on the floor. I don't think that's the issue. I think the fact that the bucket's in view they of the customers. Them they walk inside the kitchen with them. But we have been told to use a bucket. I always asked you guys to use a bucket so stuff doesn't spill all over the place. But we've never said to put it on the floor. Yeah, you use a table or the, one of the chairs and you take them back inside when they almost fall. But they're still in front of the we customers if we leave them on the chair. We never put them on the floor. I'm a little confused. Do we leave them on the floor? Never. Yes. Wow. But set all that aside, I've just had a bad experience. And I felt the food was below standard. The hummus was runny. Very liquidy. Why so much oil on there? I have Arabic customers okay. that like loads of olive oil. When customers want more oil, don't assume that everyone wants more oil. I don't even think it was olive oil. What was that oil in there? Olive oil. It was olive oil. Wow. That must be cheap. Um, <laughs> what's funny? Um, our product's not cheap. Your product's not cheap. OK. So what's so funny? Uh, you said it was cheap. Uh, it tasted cheap. It's not expensive, but okay. it's not cheap. I'm not going to argue with you, but you sit there on your ass, laughing your head off, thinking it's funny. I'm not going to get upset because of what you say. No. I'm just going to smile about it. It's, it's your opinion. Well, how old are you? 26, sir. I'd expect that if you're 16. Because right now, Mark is very far from funny. Can I continue about my lunch? For me, a kofta, when you bite into it, it just bursts with flavor. This thing was dry beyond belief. But this is number one seller. This is what my customer eats every time they walk in. But Faye, chicken was dry and the beef was dry. Is that protein frozen? We buy it fresh. I buy it fresh. We marinate it. it. Buy it fresh. It so there's a system. Freeze. Prep, freeze, and cook. I don't know why you think customers would leave their homes to come and eat frozen food. I don't have a walk-in freezer, and I don't have a walk-in cooler. OK. So, so my option is to freeze it, then cook it. How long have you been functioning like this? 18 months, okay. two years. Yeah, it's been like this since day one. I just wanted to let you know that I don't have the help to, to prepare when I need help. Right. I cannot cut myself in half, have my half here behind the counter and the other half sure. inside. But Faye, have you given up? No. Do you want to give up? No. I 
jävla singles. I can fight by myself. What? I need help. From your family? But yes. So who's not pulling their weight? None of them. Oh, my God. Oh, look at the colour of that. It makes me gag. That is veal. Oh, you dirty bastards. Zaria, what the fuck is that? These are my... I don't serve these. These are mine. How many times a day do you go into that walk-in? Roughly. About 100. 100. Disgusting. Hold that. That's broccoli rob. Leftover from my brother's wedding. They're leftover from your brother's wedding. Yeah. Come on, guys. Have you any idea how bad a turnip needs to go before it gets that bad? Touch that. Just, just touch. I... Just, just, just. I'm not serving it. We're not using it. No disrespect, but what would you know has been served? No, I don't Richard, know why it's not funny. It's not funny. I am fucking pissed off. Wait, it gets Nobody, worse. Nobody yeah. throws anything out. I can't wait I can. for this fucking excuse. Have you any idea how bad a slice of veal needs to go that colour? Just smell that. What was that colour? Why is there veal in there? It smells bad. How long is that there? It couldn't have been two days, man. Oh, fuck off. Two days? What in the fuck is going on? You don't fucking care, you do. Of course I do care. You don't give a shit. Says who? That walk in there is a disgusting mess. You should be ashamed. Hair in the food. Hair in the food? Who just said hair in the food? Me. Is this a joke? Come round. Oh, no, I think she's talking to somebody. If you were examined tonight, what do you think? Close. What happened? Close it down. Close it down. Can you go out there and apologize to every customer? Yes. I am shutting it down. May I have your attention, please? We here at Bella Luna apologize for any inconvenience to you wonderful people of this community tonight, but we are shutting it down. We are not worthy to continue this service. All right, it's been shut down. Can we close that door, please? It's just going to keep getting hotter in there, and more stuff is going to go bad. What more stuff can go worse? Tell me. I have no clue. Right. And now, in the last 60 seconds, all of a sudden, you give a fucking shit about what's going to go off? You got lazy, and yet you cannot accept it. You're done, aren't you? You're, you're finished. What do you mean? Finished for the night. Oh, uh, no, not for the night, but just in general. You're spent no. force. No, it's not who I am. Really? Yeah, I haven't gave up. If I have, I would have left you. I would have left you here by yourself. It's not my fault. <laughs> she thought everything could work. She thought it was easy. And I told her it's not going to be easy. Well, how about you stepping up? <laughs> all the pressure, all the tension, it's building on top and me not getting paid. There's a reason why you haven't had a fucking paycheck in two years. Do you ever stop and ask yourselves? You are making so many mistakes, you don't even know what's right or wrong. And you're allowing him to do it. You're both destroying each other. I'm amazed you've stayed open for three fucking years. And I can't do everything for them. I cannot be checking produce. Why did you buy a restaurant when none of you worked in one. I don't know what to do next. I don't know what uh, to I don't do, know. Chef. That makes three of us, because right now, I've got fucking no idea where to start. <laughs>